Hi, Pam here. So what's the one question you should never, ever ask a doctor? I'm going to tell you now. Every single week, and I would say every second day, whether I'm in hospital or meeting somebody outside for the first time, there is that one question people will always ask me. And I know that every single doctor in the world is being asked that question every single week, week after week. Now, I'm mentioning that because yesterday I was asked that question again. So the question is, hey doctor, What's the worst thing you've ever seen in the ER? Man, what kind of, what kind of a f***ing question is that? What's the worst thing you've ever seen in the ER? You've seen a lot of death here, you know? I mean, people dying in your hands, you know? You've seen people take their last breaths right in your hands, right? I mean, what's the worst you've seen? I'm like, come on, come on. I mean, do you really want to know that? And it's, it, it's like, I mean, you know, they ask it so casually, like, it's okay. I mean, I just want to know. Piece of advice. Whenever you ask a doctor a question like that, even though that doctor is going to smile at you and give you an answer, what every doctor wants to do at that point is punch you in the throat so that you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think I speak for every doctor when I say that. Seriously, there's no doctor in the world that enjoys such a question. It's, it's, it's just rude, insensitive, and a terrible question to ask. I mean, think about that, you know, with all the horror that we see at work in the ER. I mean, whether you're an emergency doctor or a cardiologist or, you know, whatever kind of doctor you are, an oncologist, uh, it's never, ever a good experience to see a patient die, right? And probably the worst of the worst for me is to see children die. So when you come to a doctor and you say, hey, what's the worst thing you've seen? Basically, what you're doing is, you want me to dig up in my memory there the worst thing that I remember, that I'm trying to forget. Think about it for a minute. What you're asking me to do at that point is to dig deep into the recesses of my memory and dig out the most horrifying story I have ever experienced in the ER and give it to you. Something or some things that I'm really trying to forget. One thing I will never forget is, or, or, or rather stuff that are affecting me more than others, is kids dying. Especially kids dying of drowning. Right? For me, it's, it's, it's the worst. It, it's really, really painful. Not just because, you know, of the fact that they've drowned and now they've died, despite all resuscitative effort that you've, you've, you've done in the ER. But it's also seeing the parents, man, being so distressed at that point, you know? Going to the parents and breaking the news that, you know, I'm really, really sorry, but, you know. So that's, that's very painful. And I don't want to talk to anybody about that stuff. And also because I had a near drowning experience when I was a kid myself. I mean, that's another story, but I almost died. Thank God there was a hero at the beach who saved me. But, but you know, that, 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 that's my point, right? I mean, don't ask doctors that question because they hate it. I hate it as well. And believe me, when you ask that question, 
I will look at you in the eyes and I will say, no, come on, you don't want to ask that, you know. But deep down, what I really want to do is pop! <laughs> Get out! Get lost! That's what I really want to do to you, man. And that's what every doctor wants to do at that point, you know. So yeah, so you know, I, I hope that you will never ask that question to a doctor again. That question is being asked in the ER, that question is being asked outside. I mean, I mean, imagine, the other thing is, imagine you're going out. Right? And I don't often go out, but the times when I'm really going to go out, and socialize and, and you know go to a uh, go to a social place and socialize with people when i really feel like doing that is when the worst has happened in the er you know it's always been when the worst of the worst has happened that i feel the urge of going out and interacting with other people you know friends or new people you know and you know it helps you know, the human contact, you know, helps, you know, socializing, interacting with others in a nice social environment with some music, you know, because I, you don't want to stay in your house alone, replaying the drama and, and, you know, over and over and over again, thinking about what could have been done different and stuff. No, it's just something that you shouldn't really do. You know, when you do a recess and then the patient doesn't survive, Usually you're going to meet with your staff, you're going to discuss the situation, um, help each other, you know. And you know the usual, tell each other, hey, you know, you did a very great job there, you know, well done. Hey, you too, you know, I mean, I like the way you did these compressions, it was great. Hey, you know, the timing was excellent, you know, and you know, we all give each other feedback and if there's something to correct, you know, we, we say, hey, you know, I think you should have maybe not say that in front of the wife, you know, next time let's do it this way, you know. So yeah, so you want to deal with that in hospital. But when you go out now and you socialize with others, the last thing you want is to be out in a nice social environment, say a lounge, and there's some nice music and you're relaxing there, and somebody comes to you and say, oh, you're a doctor, so what's the Worst thing you've ever seen. At that point, you know, you, you really feel like, come on, come on, come on. Would you ask a police officer, off duty or on duty, hey, sir, miss, missus, what's the worst thing you've ever seen? No, you would not, you wouldn't do that. What's the worst thing you've had to do? If you had to kill someone, how did it feel? You, you would never ask a police officer that question, it's inappropriate. Would you ask a soldier or ex-soldier and you know, somebody you meet and tells you, yes, I was a soldier, I was posted in uh, such and such a place, for instance. Would you really go to them and say, have you had to kill people? How many people have you killed? What's the worst case scenario you had? How did you, no, 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 no. You don't want people to, you know, you, you don't want to like, bring emotions like that again. No, you would never do that. Because you know that these people are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, right? So the last thing you want to do is accentuate that or maybe even trigger it. But for doctors, it seems okay. It's like, I mean, we are also suffering from PTSD sometimes, right? So there's no, there's no reason why you should ask that question. Just like you would not ask a firefighter Oh, tell me, what's, what's the worst thing you've seen, right? People getting burned, dying there, trapped, you know, trapped in a room, trapped in a room on fire. You know, I mean, what's the worst you've seen? What's the worst, what's the worst you've had to see, you know? You would never ask that, right? You would never ask that. So the same goes with doctors and nurses. Don't ask medical staff, paramedics, doctors, nurses, don't ask them. What is the worst thing you've ever seen? It's not fair. When I go out and I meet a woman 
on first contact, no matter how beautiful, classy, pretty, lovely she looks or is, if she's going to ask me that question, what's the worst thing you've ever seen in the ER, in the hospital? If she's going to ask me that, it's a deal breaker. No joke, it is. I mean, instantly, my interest goes to minus 100. I just want to leave, get away from you, sit somewhere else, because I don't want to talk about this. All right? So yeah, basically, uh, that's what I want to talk to you about today. Next time, if, if you're the type of person asking doctors that, you know, and you think that this is going to make some, uh, some ice-breaking conversation, you're wrong. Doctors will avoid you like the plague if you ask a question like that. I was asked that question yesterday. I was in hospital yesterday. And I know, even though I said that uh, I'm retired from medicine, I said that last year in a video, right? I've realized that, you know, you can never really retire 100% from medicine. I guess it's possible, but uh, for me, I've realized that um, it's not a question of myself having the call for medicine. It's more like medicine calling me back. So I, I do still uh, work in the ER. Um, not all the time, but, but I do work in the ER. And I was doing a shift last night, and this person asked me that, this, this woman asked me that, as I was treating her husband. She asked me, oh, you must be seeing some terrible things here. Because, you know, the ER was quite busy and there was some emergency and she was on the floor in one of the cubicles, you know, with the curtain drawn and stuff, you know. So as I was in the cubicle treating her husband, you know, she asked me then, oh, see, it's very busy and I, and I just saw this, this, this person they brought in with blood all over her face. Is she going to be okay? And, you know, I said, yeah, well, you know. And then she asked me, so what's the worst thing you've seen? What's the worst you've ever seen? And I looked at her and I said, the worst thing that I see every day is people trying to find out what is the worst horror story I've seen. <laughs> right away, she realized she made a blunder and she was like, oops, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, of course. Oh, that, that's not very sensitive of me. I'm, I'm really sorry I asked that. I don't know why I, I even ask. So you see, so, and I said, no, don't worry, it's okay, you know, and everything was good. But, you know, it was, it was the perfect answer for me. So, yeah, that's it. Next time you see a doctor in the ER or anywhere, in hospital or out of hospital, or a nurse, or a paramedic, or anybody that works with patients, don't ask them that question. Was the most horrible thing you've seen? Don't do that, right? And if you can avoid doing that, you will have matured emotionally one step further. And that will help you into your road to bettering yourself. The road to becoming a better person. Because that's all we want, all of us here, be better every single day. Cheers. <laughs>